Welcome back to Good Morning Antigua Barbuda, 8.13, whoops, 8.14 on our clock. Time waits on no man. I'm Jamila Kerwan Henriquez, and I am excited. You know why? Because I am going to be speaking with three gentlemen who absolutely love film and movies as much as I do. Well, I love being in front of the camera. They like to do the organizing behind. <laughs> but, of course, in, the, in our presence this morning, uh, Mr. Burke Kirshnell, and, of course, he's the president of the Antiguan Barbuda Motion Picture Association. And in the middle, we have a guest with us for the first time on Good Morning Antigua Barbuda, and such a pleasure to have him as well. Najim Glasgow Maida out of London, and he's the head of the Caribbean Film Corner. Wonderful to meet you, Najim. Same here, nice And to Dr. Be here. Alvin Edwards, of course, no stranger to ABS and no stranger to Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. But of course, I can't stretch so far back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do I my wave. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Dr. Alvin Edwards, and of course, he's the vice president of the Antigua Barbuda Motion Picture Association. A fabulous event is going to be happening from the 8th to the 13th. I think it's moved to the 14th now. It right? even moved to the 14th. It's we expanded it. To the 14th. I am so excited. And of course, it's the Antigua and Barbuda first ever film festival. So you notice I'm, I'm like really, really excited right now, you know? Um, let me just correct you. It's not the first film festival. It's the first annual film first festival. First annual. Thanks we, for we had some small film festivals before already. So um, it's the first annual of many to come, right. hopefully, at that level and at that um, um, uh, uh, class, you know. So, so everything yeah. has fallen into place, uh, last minute preparations, I mean, it starts tomorrow. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you look exhausted. <laughs> 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 because I came down to Papa Zooks, of course, Bert is the manager of Papa Zooks. I had a nice pan fried snapper boy, I tell you. And we were chit chatting <laughs> about the film festival and you're telling me about how much work you have to put into this. And uh, let's just talk a little bit about putting this in place. And of course, I can't wait to get to Najim because I want him to tell me about the background of the Caribbean Film Corner. But go ahead, first. Yes. Well, no. Um, the Motion Picture Association, after we formed around three years ago, we decided to step up uh, film in Antigua. Mm -hmm. And uh, this um, idea was born that uh, we uh, could become the film platform of excellence in the Caribbean. Pretty ambitious, but um, uh, we thought we can do it. We have lots of talent here and so forth. So we, um, we thought, how do we do that? We thought we put on a film festival. Mm -hmm. Now, we had no clue about film festival. So um, <laughs> it, was, it was quite a stepping stone for us. But I was um, fortunate enough to got introduced to Naishim, mm -hmm. which is all the expert of film festivals, the Caribbean Film Corner. And I'm sure he can tell you all about it in a little while. Um, and uh, so we started off with this ambitious idea to have one of the Caribbean's biggest film festivals. And uh, in order to give it a lot of weight, uh, we decided to bring weighty people down here. Mm -hmm. Some heavy hitters. Some heavy hitters. <laughs> and uh, we were able to secure uh, some of these heavy hitters, big uh, movie actors, um, and even a, a very big uh, producer mm -hmm. coming down here. And um, all of this. It gave us that lift we wanted to have to create this little tidal wave around here um, to uh, f go on to actually um, work on this ambitious idea that Antigua could become the, the film platform in our region here in the Eastern Caribbean. And um, we are on our way to do that, and we were all very excited. So, um, you know. So this is how this whole idea came about with the film festival. And I'm quite sure there are a lot of actors out there. <coughs> actors. <laughs> I'm clearing my throat. There's something in my throat. <laughs> actors, writers, producers, so many talented people who are so excited to hear that we're going to be having an event of this magnitude. Yes. And the type of people who are coming as well. So we know it's not a play, play thing. All right? So nope. we know it's not. Nope. No joke. This is no big, joke. serious thing. This is big, serious thing. All right. Thing. And yeah. now we get to Najim. Uh, Najim is the head, once again, of the Caribbean Film Corner in London. And uh, Najim, tell us a little bit about your, your um, corporation, your establishment. Uh, well, the Caribbean Film Corner was kind of born out of necessity. Um, I'm a film producer myself. And the main problem was that after producing everybody else's stuff, you want to start producing your own thing. Yeah. You know, you want to start producing 
uh, something that speaks to you, something that's Caribbean, something, you know, from home, you know. And we have so many stories to tell, right? Exactly. I mean, come on, we have, what, four Nobel Prizes, you know, one for economics, three for literature. You know, we have stories. Yeah, we need the world to <laughs> know, know that, right? You know, and, you know, they no, but we need to be able to bring it to the fore. We need to bring ourselves to, to the screen, you know, so we can see ourselves. And the main problem with that is that we had no market. You know, everyone knows the Caribbean for the sea, the sun, you know, and it was like, well, how do we get a market? How do we do this? And, you know, um, a bit like what Bert said, we had to create that market by making a festival mm -hmm. and making, you know, a serious festival to show the best of the Caribbean. And that way, try to get people to come on board and to latch onto our films and also to get you know, prospective investors also interested in the That's Caribbean. Very, very, very important. Investors. So now we're trying to make sure that people know that in the Caribbean it's also sea, sun, and cinema. <laughs> you know, and that also is very important. You know, and you know, like like you said, me being here is is, is a big boost for me and for us as well. You know, because you know it's so easy for us to see what's happening outside. We, we know what's happening in the, in the United States. We know what is happening. Uh, in the UK, but we don't know what's happening in Guadeloupe next door. Exactly. We don't know what's happening in the Dominican Republic. You know, we hardly know what's happening in Montserrat. You know, and that we need to start happening. You know, we need to start seeing ourselves. You know, um, this is a little for AVS. We need to start buying our own films and our own mm -hmm. produce, you know, so that we can support our artists. Mm -hmm. And they would be able to continue making serious films. That's right. You know, um, w without that support, we're not going to go anywhere, you know. And it's one of the reasons why we're here in the Caribbean, to try and get our governments to understand that you have to invest in cinema. You know, we are a big tourist destination, and we know that. But, you know, um, tourism is based on land, mm -hmm. and we have little of it, and not much to go around, and we have to start conserving it. We have to start understanding that film and cinema is the next new industry because we could export mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. you know this is something that we can make and we could export and it's not going to destroy you know the land in which we live in you know it's not going to tear anything apart and we could create serious employment off the back of it it's not only about bringing big productions to the caribbean but it's also taking our own productions making it big and taking it outside exactly and immortalizing our talents exactly. for the world to see and i'm a living testament because i have a passion for acting, absolutely love being in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was born to chat, I think I was born to act. And I would also like to thank Dr. Alvin Edwards because I actually um, played a role in a film that uh, he recently role. did, <laughs> you know, and I've also had the opportunity of acting in Antigua's first feature length film. And I'm very, very grateful because every time somebody looks at the film and they say, oh, you know, you did a fabulous, fabulous job. All the actors were, were really, really great. People come and they see how much you have to offer uh, there are other actors out there, there are other writers and producers out there who would like to showcase their work as well. Mm. You know, so there are some people out there who are very excited. I know, N so Najin, thank you for blessing us with your presence oh, this morning. It's my pleasure. And my I know pleasure. Dr. Edwards <laughs> wants to add quite a bit to what, <laughs> what has been said already. Oh, and well, some well, to Bert as well. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's, it's really a pleasure to listen to both Bert and uh, Najin speak because, you know, my throat can rest a little bit. Because <laughs> 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 I've, I've been preaching this type of yes. thing for a while. I just want to say something very, very important in that to all those persons out there who think they have the talent. Because, uh, you know, I, as you know, I started out in acting, really, mm -hmm. even before medicine, but I had to switch. It usually happens that uh, way. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Artists but usually have to, have to, have to go to something else. Uh, uh, the Hammer had a, a workshop mm -hmm. on um, screenwriting, yes. and I was driving home one evening, and I said, but hey, why don't I just go back and sign up? And that was the beginning of something new for me, because after I finished that screenwriting workshop, I immediately started to write, and that's where Once in an Island came from. Yes. And then I became more and more involved in producing the film, and we started the uh, Motion Picture Association of Antigua and Barbuda in the sense to help to build it and to make it what into something that young persons can focus on if they want to build their lives in film. Yes. So I'm here to support all of that. And um, I, I really like what Najin said, because I think it's, it's a concept that we're going to have to begin to understand. And he said it really lightly, but it is something very important, what he said, that we need to buy film that we produce and show it on television. Now, it's a new concept for ABS, I think, because 
you know, there is a concept that, hey, we'll show you a film, and then that's the end of it. No, 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 no. The film costs a lot to produce. Mm -hmm. And if you get the idea of purchasing film, local film, to show, it helps the production mechanism. And it helps young actors, young producers, young directors, mm -hmm. young musicians mm -hmm. to oh, have that opportunity exactly. as well. Mm -hmm. So it, it may be said very lightly, but it is an important concept. As a matter of fact, while we were outside, I was speaking to Najim about say China and the other countries, how they have developed their products to be number one. And one of the things they did, because I listened very keenly once to an American television program, one of the things that the United Chinese government did, it went out to its persons who were putting up business and said, how can we make your business successful? And that the rest is history. So that's a lesson for us to learn. You know, other persons are looking at their talents, yeah. of their people in a way of making it work for the country. And I would really like to see Antigua do that. That's why I spend so much time and effort on doing things like um, working with Bert and the others and helping to build film in Antigua. All right. Wonderful. And so this uh, event starts tomorrow, and it has been extended to the 14th. And I can't wait for Bert and Najim <laughs> and, and, and Dr. W Dr. Edwards to divulge uh, all the events that are, that's going to be taking place, including the gala event, which <laughs> happens on the 11th, which I have the privilege of hosting. Thank you very much for asking. You're me welcome. You just came naturally to <laughs> mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much. So tell us what's going to be happening. Good. What's happening tomorrow at um, eight o at 10 o'clock? We're starting with our first um, seminars. We have we have three days allotted uh, within that festival for seminars and workshops where we invite the public for free to take part uh, in these workshops which go from pre to post production. That includes like acting, mm -hmm. that includes uh, script writing, that includes uh, film productions, camera and lighting, uh, film makeup, uh, we have sound and music. So everything involved in film, we have the various seminars uh, where uh, the public uh, signs up um, and I, I think we are almost full already. We have a few empty okay. slots left. Yeah. And you can sign up at uh, Dr. Edwards um, Eye Center, the Vision Center up in Upper Le uh, Redcliffe Street. Uh, go in as fast as you can and see what is left to be signed up. And then come, the all these um, events, these uh, two days actually it is for the public, uh, takes place at Townhouse Megastore. These kind, these guys have been really kind to us. Uh, one of the sponsors, and uh, they um, provided the facilities there, wi which are fantastic. Um, which is in room 16, which is upstairs mm -hmm. of that new building of by Mega Store. Yeah. So yeah, this is where two days, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, um, we have seminars, and you can uh, go actually online, AntiguaFilmFestival.com where the, the exact times and dates um, are, are posted. Mm -hmm. And well, try your luck if you, if you have uh, to um, sign up for whatever is left there. Mm -hmm. um, on uh, Thursday, we have uh, 10 schools involved in another workshop, which takes place uh, at the uh, multi-purpose center. Um, most of the schools were able to provide up to 15 students. Mm -hmm. So we should have a good crowd of students, yeah. about 120, I think we have so far, um, and they're gonna uh, be um, um, they're gonna touch down on, on all these various uh, seminars I just mentioned um, on a shorter period. But that's an all-day affair, and we hope with that that we find some of these students which uh, so far maybe did not have any idea what they want to do in the future. Yeah. So in other words, we want to give them a little future. And hopefully, and we have these seminars ongoing. Every uh, two, three months, we will have them. Um, they can sign up again, and so we slowly build a little body of uh, of film enthusiasts and hopefully some professionals in the Wonderful. future, right? Great so idea. those are the three days: uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on Friday, as you said already, that's a big gala event, um, which takes place at the Copper and Lumber Store. And so hopefully we have ABS there to uh, show it to the rest of the nation because um, that event is uh, for invited people only. Um, our um, sponsors naturally, then the business sector, uh, dignitaries, people from the industry. Uh, we couldn't invite everybody, obviously. Uh, so um, that takes place at the Copper Lumber Store with, uh, with a um, cocktail um, we have 